Today I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite prompts to create a stunning manuscript in the editing phase. Let's get into it. So a while back I hired a ghostwriter to write an article for one of my websites. And when I got the results back, the information was decent, but it became very clear just from reading through the article that this person did not speak English as a first language and some of the sentence structure was just a little bit awkward. Nothing particularly bad, but just a little off. And this is, I'll show you this right here. Um, we can just read this little section. It is unknown where the name Camelot came from. One of the leading theories is that it originated from the ancient god of war, Camulus. In ancient times, the god Camulus was widely worshipped from Gallia to Brit Britannia and around the first century. Another theory is that the name Camelot appeared for the first time in da 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 da, -da where he mentioned da 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 da. It's very stilted, it's very dry. Uh, and so what I did is I took it into ChatGPT. We're going to be using GPT-4 for this, although 3.5 will do. And the prompt that I have is improve the flesh, I think that's how you pronounce it, reading ease score of the following text. And then you just copy the text into there. The flesh reading ease score, if you haven't heard about it, anytime you hear someone say that person's talking at a third grade level or a seventh grade level or what have you, uh, they're really referring to this score. You can analyze text for readability, how easy it is to read. There's a lot that goes into it and it can be kind of complicated, so I'm not going to get into it here. But basically, if you tell Jeff chat gpt to improve the flesh reading e-score it knows what to do and it will do it so let's give this a a whirl the origin of the name camelot remains uncertain one possibility is that it comes from camulus the ancient guard of war camulus was revered from gallia to britannia in early times um you can already say it's like one of the instead of one of the leading theories it says one possibility so it's improving the certain sentence structure there making it simpler and easier to read um, and you can just see by reading through this that it's often more to the point it's a little more succinct it gets everything across that it needs to say and for me I find this a fantastic way of improving my writing in addition to the writing of, of other people who've done uh, ghost writing for me Anytime I find some sentences or paragraphs that just seem a little awkward and I'm not entirely sure how to improve it, this is what I do. I will do. I will tell it to improve the flesh reading score of that novel. So I thought I would just share that with you. I will see you in the next video.